As far as your lease buyout option, you're looking to pay approximately blank. On a 2022 HRV EXL, you're looking at blank. I hit him high so I can cut him down, make him feel like I'm giving him the best deal, but it's really those NYC taxes beating his ass, LMAO. Rob, really showing your cards here. <laughs> How do you even do that? How do you even accidentally text your customer that you just offered him this deal? You don't even deserve to sell him the car at that point. Like, how did you mess that up so badly? What's up, boys? Right now, I'm sitting in my room while there is an absolute snowstorm blizzard going on outside. I walked outside yesterday, and it looked like an actual wasteland. Like, it looked like Metro Exodus. It, <laughs> it was crazy. So I thought, what better to do on a day where, you know, we're snowed in than just take a look at some good old cringe. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but this video is something else. I'm just gonna say that right now. For this video, just let me know if you guys are getting any snow right now wherever you live. Me in Michigan, right by Lake Michigan, we are getting hammered. Anyway, without further ado, enjoy the video, boys. I met my top fan for 10k. Probably his life savings. Probably a waste of 10k. He said it was worth every penny. <laughs> Be jealous. I mean, hey, man, I guess, you know, it's his money. He can do whatever he wants with it. Something tells me that he was kind of coping when he said it was worth every penny. I'm sure he went home that night and just put his face in his pillow and just sobbed because he looked at his bank account and realized that he wouldn't be able to afford dinner that night. Hi, I had a really nice time, but we didn't really click. I'm sorry. Bet. What is bet? I just googled it. Seems like a weird response to what I said, but okay, have a good day. Not even going to say have a good day back because you're a jerk because I rejected you. Lol, get over yourself. This is college. Stuff happens. Not everything works out. And then an, a word that I definitely cannot say, let alone probably even have on screen. Um, I'm sure you can guess what it could be. It, just think of like the worst word she could possibly use in this moment. And that's the word that she said. I'm changing my phone number. Don't ever text me again. Dude, literally all he said was bet. <laughs> I feel like she wanted him to be upset about this really badly. Like, she was really wanting him to be like, God, these women always rejecting me. But he was just like, all right, bet. And she was like, wait. You're not, you weren't supposed to say that. Hey, so this isn't the message I guess you want to be getting, but my ex contacted me again on the weekend and came to my work today. And I have decided instead of breaking up, we are going to give each other a second chance and start to date again and see what happens. I don't really know what else to say. Doing it via group message to all the guys you're talking to. Efficient, I guess. That's crazy. Making a group chat with every guy that you're talking to at the moment and then just being like, yeah, guys, so I'm getting back with my ex. Or she just was like, you know what? This is efficient. Let me just add them all into a group chat. Hashtag caps social night. Great face swap. <laughs> Hashtag caps social night. Capitals. That's just me and my dad, but thanks. That's like one of those insults where like they didn't even mean it as an insult. So it hurts so much more because they didn't, they weren't even actually trying to be mean, but she just basically got called a face swap. <laughs> that's insane. Hi. Just hear me out, okay? Don't reply until I'm done, okay? Okay, so, like, I think you're a smart guy and kind of cute, and I was wondering if you'd be willing to get coffee or just hang out or whatever. I thought we really had a connection when we met. I'm honestly super flattered, but I have a girlfriend. Sorry, I hope I didn't give you the wrong idea at Cooper's. Lol. Wow. You thought I was serious. Like, I'd ever date someone like you. I was totally kidding. I can't believe you fell for that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry, but I can't even. That dude, oh my- I just like- You know that one picture of the Wojak, like, wearing the, the mask of smiling, and then behind it he's like, crying? <laughs> that is exactly what this is. Personified. That is what- this message is. You can just feel it as you read it, how just like how angry she is. It's awesome. Don't hang your feet off the bed at night. If you do, the devil will eat them. Nothing. And then her butt is hanging out. Gross. Grandma died last night <laughs> at two in the morning. I don't think you could ever top that as a, as a response to a meme. Next time I send a meme to my family, actually, I don't really send memes to my family, but next time I send a meme to my friends and they're just like, yo, uh, my grandma just died. I'm going to be like, wow. That happened in one of my videos. And then they're gonna call me an asshole. Uh, a little selfie. Where was this last night? At my sister's. Cute. Who is Cousin Swole over there? Cousin Swole? Guy in red has huge pipes. That's my mom. <laughs> Come on, man. You can tell that those are not pipes. Like, all you gotta do is take one look at those things. That is not no muscle. You jiggle that thing, it's gonna flap around and make a bunch of noise. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that is not, <laughs> that is not muscle. Hi there. How are you? 
No response is pretty disappointing. From reading your profile, I was actually excited to talk to you. Hey, sorry about that, Phil. I check this once or twice a week because I try not to be super involved with social media. Well, I'd prefer you be super involved with me and try a little harder moving forward. Is that clear? Oh my god. Yeah, well, actually, um, you're gonna have to start trying harder and be much more involved with me going forward. Because now that you have responded to me, you are officially... <laughs> you are officially tied to me, and you cannot escape. Oh dear, he thought. Someone swiped me in the wrong direction again, and I'm trying to write an original opening line just to be ignored and left unanswered. Well, it doesn't hurt to be honest, so what about writing exactly this? Nothing more attractive than self-defeat and no confidence. I've seen this tactic be employed like multiple times across posts like this, and I just don't understand like what they think is, what is gonna work with this? Do you think they're just gonna like pity date you? Like what, you think they're just gonna be like, oh, nobody likes you. Well, don't worry, I like you. Like, no. Love having an Air Force Defender in the house. Just got back from watching fireworks and our garage door was wide open. I remember punching in the code to close it so we weren't sure what happened. But my Defender went and got his gun and swept the house room by room. He even yelled clear a couple times. We're safe and sound. But I had to get a picture of him really quick while he was clearing his little sister's room. This is just a guy who, who, wait, he was just, he lives here? I mean, oh, I guess it says his little sister, so. I don't know, maybe he's just like the J-R-O-T-C older brother who listens to like Eminem. Excessively starting to sweat. So, do you want to maybe grab some coffee tomorrow? Sorry, I'm not interested. Staring confused to the wall. Remember, I hold the door open for you, lend you a pencil in class, and even made you a coffee? So you're not interested? Yep, that's what I said. Sorry. Can you also please stop role-playing? I absolutely hate it. Staring confused to the wall intensifies. Jessica, I know you're talking to Adam, but he's just a jerk. <laughs> I will do all I- Oh, Jared. I think that you don't belong on this texting app. I think you just belong on Discord. You have fellow people like yourself on there that you can do that with and roleplay with as much as you'd like. You won't get called weird, and they will be just as- and they will be very interested, actually. Um, that is uh, my advice to you. Download this. What's your diversity? What you mean? Like, you got this whole Pocahontas thing going on. It's sexy AF, but yeah, bruh, you mean ethnicity? That is what, I, actually, that is the new word for what uh, ethnicity is. It's just called Pocahontas thing. Any girl who is not white, she's got like a Pocahontas thing going on. Girls love it when you tell them that they have a Pocahontas thing going on. I, that is W Riz. Yeah, thank you for cum. No worries. I don't really think we have much chemistry, so there won't be another date, but it was lovely meeting you and I wish you all the best. I think so. Already you are not my type. I think it was not a fun evening and I paid £8.30 for your drink. I thought you would want one of the ordinary drinks. I paid for my drink £1.75 and paid £8.30 for your drink. This too much. You drank a huge bottle at the first meeting and I paid this. I didn't have to pay for it. Please pay me back. I am waiting for a refund £8.30. Thank you. Short code blank account number blank. <laughs> Does this dude not have PayPal? He just gave this girl his account number for her to wire transfer eight pounds and 30. Uh, dude, <laughs> that is actually crazy. You're both ugly. Says the random person without a clear profile picture who decided to blow up my messenger telling me I'm pretty, but that I had to block because you were being insulting over the fact that I have a boyfriend. We're both very good looking, especially together. Have a nice night, sir. Stop, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude just was like, all right, all right, I'm sorry. Stop, God, I'm dead, man. You don't need to keep beating a dead horse, all right? I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. You do understand that one of the main reasons why I didn't pursue you romantically is because you are intelligent enough to not be manipulated. I tend to pick off the weakest member of the herd, typically the craziest. You are far too mature and centered for me. I hope you take this as a compliment. Even though you are beautiful, I could not find a weakness. That put me at a disadvantage. And as one who is obsessed with power, I could not pursue someone who I saw as an equal. This guy thinks he's like an actual supervillain. He's like, oh, you do understand that one of the main reasons I didn't. He's like, right, he's like re revealing his like secret plan at the end of the movie. Movie. Like, this is what I wanted to do all along. Hi, it's Adri. What is your mom's number? It's for a scholarship. I hope I don't sound weird, lol. Um, I don't have a mom. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot. I remember now. <laughs> Imagine texting the person that doesn't have a mom knowingly 
asking for their mom's like I don't know something for a scholarship uh, this person said it was an old friend from high school so they probably haven't talked to them in years and then they just randomly hit them up talking about their dead mom that's pretty sick I'd want you or any end game just wanting to make your day ah thank you so much you're welcome kitten LMAO, pet names already? Well, I gave you a cat potion, yo. Explains your kitty tail. I'm a silly dude, lol. <laughs> I'm so confused. WTF is a kitty tail referring to? Just a cat tail, lol. I like transformation stuff. It's fun to me. I, I wonder what this dude looks like, because I feel like anyone who says you're welcome, kitten, is like at least 400 pounds. Anyway, ladies and gents, thank you so much for watching this awful cringe video of like mostly just people getting rejected and then handling it horribly. Uh, hopefully you never go out in the world and do it that yourself because trust me It's embarrassing and you don't want to end up on here in one of my videos. So maybe don't do that Anyway, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Dom so epic drop a like comment subscribe all that and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.